Okay, seriously. This Kobe block piece of Tommy will probably get a drink in a United States bar without being carded before he does. He looks like he's 12. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Old School Nerd, and that right there is Tommy Johansson. He's the lead, one of the lead guitarists in Sabaton. He's the one that makes all of us look really, really old. Um, he is in his 30s now, but if he comes to the United States, that dude's getting carded at every club he goes to, period. In fact, there may be 21 and older shows that Sabaton plays where Tommy's going to be sitting in the parking lot going, they won't let me in, guys, because... He looks like he's 12. Lucky bastard. Anyway, um, it's like, oh, he'll be 65 looking, you know, looking like he's 28, you know? I don't even know if he shaves yet. Probably not. Probably doesn't even shave. Anyway, some people don't realize that Tommy isn't just the lead guitarist in Sabaton. He's also an artist in his own right. He does multiple projects and one of his projects he does is he does christmas music christmas metal music he did a really really good one a lot of people akin him to a really young meatloaf because of his singing style and just loving to do that epic style well <laughs> tommy just released a new song and it's uh it's actually a cover of two songs mashed up together he channels his inner disney and he takes Going the Distance from the movie Hercules, which, by the way, um, my daughter Megan, it is her favorite Disney movie, Hercules. She loves Going the Distance. She loves everything about that movie. And when she sees this, she's just going to fall in love with it. Tommy takes the song Going the Distance and he replaces the words with the words from the Sabaton song, Swedish Pagans, which is one of my favorite songs that Sabaton does. So it's a marriage of two amazing songs that my family loves and Tommy's going to rock them together. I have no idea what's about to happen. We should check this out together. Check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all the social media posts, the Patreon link for those who want to support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you and the merchandise store. All right, Tommy. God, if my aunt was alive, she'd be pinching your cheeks. You're so cute. <laughs> That's probably his most hated thing. He probably hates that to death. He's like, I just want to grow a beard. I just want to start getting some wrinkles somewhere. Because I... <laughs> Everyone keeps telling me, shh, quiet, little boy. <laughs> what? No. All right, Tommy, knock that out. Disney Ton. A dude going to get sued so hard. Actually, what's funny... It isn't Disney font. It's close, but it isn't the actual Disney font. It's close, but you see this little swoop right here and the way it doesn't come down and this right here isn't circled. It's, it's kind of angled and the way each one of these little letters has a little touch to it, it keeps it from being Disney font. It's close, very close, close enough to not get litigated, but good job. That's funny though. As the wise woman said, once you harden in battle, there's no coming back. Fight or fall, feel your blood starts to boil in your veins. As you charge, as the fire inside is ignited by bloodshed, Swedish pagans marching ashore, pushing Valhalla by the hammer of Thor. I'm from Oscar, our Viking ship. 
Our Viking ship sails never to turn back again. You gotta ask yourself, at what point were they rehearsing, uh, getting ready for tour, playing this in multiple venues, multiple festivals for these last, I don't know, five, six years this song has been out, and Tommy suddenly look over at, at, at Potter and go, you know this is going the distance, right? <laughs> and they're like, what? He's like, dude, I'm telling you, I know Disney music. I love Disney music. I've heard this arrangement before. And they're like, yeah, it's Swedish Pagans. And he's like, no, I know that. I play that every day, but you do realize the arrangement is going the distance from Hercules, right? And they're like, you sure? And then he plays it. You know he had to have played it for them on the computer, on, on his keyboard, and they were like, dude, you got to make a video about that. And he's like, I will. There you go. <laughs> there are a lot of, lot of songs out there, and there's some really good channels. Uh, one of my favorites is Bill McClintock. A lot of you know that. Look up Bill McClintock on YouTube. He takes a lot of songs, a lot of songs, just like this, where they take two completely different genres of music, but because the arrangements are so linked up and the arrangement the composition is so precise in the tempo, the key, the chord progression, that he not only does a mashup, but he does it to where it's perfectly in sync, to where it sounds like a completely different song. Um, he's really good at it. And this is an amazing version of it as well. Damn it, Tommy. This I'm going to play this in the car and watch my kids freak out. They're going to freak out. I'm allergic to a good mashup. Got to do that again. By the way, you do realize that he's opened up a can of worms. Because if they... Because I know Hammership kind of got canceled or postponed. But, you know, eventually they will have Hammership and things like that. And, you know, at some point, they're, they're going to go into one of these venues. And there's going to be a big contingent of Disney fans. Because a lot of Disney fans love Sabaton. And they're going to be going, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Until finally, Tommy does like, like part of the song to Going the Distance. Just to, you know. Gonna you're opening a can of worms because there's only one group of fans that is more passionate than Sabaton, and that's Nightwish. <laughs> Kidding, um, it they're close. The but Disney Disney fans are like passionate. I know I am one, so uh, <laughs> do not be surprised if you go up to a Sabaton show, Joachim gets up there and be like. Swedish records, because he that's what he does, right? And there everyone's gonna go Hercules, 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 and then Tommy's gonna go, Ooh, yeah, that, that's that's my fault, guys. And they're gonna be like shit, and they're gonna have to play it. 
and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's let's. I want to do the guitar solo again. Go go go. Dear Lord. Oh my God. And you know, he, you know, and you know, look at, look at that face. You know, you know, he did it on purpose. Absolutely. All right. So subscribe to Tommy Johansson. I had already subscribed, but unsubscribed so I could do it in front of you guys. Look, watch, look. Boop. And then, boop. He keeps wondering why his uh, subscribe number keeps going up and down. It's because I keep doing this shit. Sorry. Tommy's getting subscriber, unsubscribe, subscriber. I'm he's like, dude, who the hell's? And it's like, that's that guy from the United States. And uh, yeah, well, there you go. Anyway, so that's, that's Tommy being Tommy. Um, amazing guitarist, wonderful piano player, great voice. Uh, please check out his Christmas stuff he put out this last year. Really good stuff for Christmas coming up next year. Definitely want to hold that in. Bring that over to it because it's amazing stuff. Very epic. Um, yeah. So this is a reaction you're probably not going to see on, um, on I don't know, Tank the Text channel. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just not, you know, no, no, no gear set up. However, Tank, um, his little daughter Ingrid's rapidly approaching her first birthday. When she gets about three to five years old. Yeah, Tank's going to have to start doing some Disney reactions. Yeah, buddy, that's what it's like, Big Dad. All right, my name is Old School Nerd. That's Tommy Johansson, uh, the lead guitarist from Sabaton, and an amazing musician and singer, songwriter in his own part, doing a mashup of Swedish pagans and going the distance from Hercules. We'll see you guys later. Hercules, 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 Hercules. And Joachim's going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> Play it, sucker!